it says. Oh my god. John was Graham's father? Jessica. If John were Liam's father? Uh -huh. Would there be any hope for you then? I mean, do you think that John would be willing to forgive you for, well, that one night with Brody and for lying about it? Don't forget dragging him into a church and then humiliating him in public. Yes, that was difficult for him. He's a very private person. Not anymore. Thanks to me. Okay, that's kind of my point, honey. There are more issues here than just Liam's paternity. Do you think you two could ever trust each other again? No, I kind of... No, I would think so. After everything we've been through. Mm -hmm. I mean, John's not a talkative guy, you know? But it never bothered me. Because it's like we, we just understood each other, you know what I mean? And, and then I, uh, then I got pregnant, and... <laughs> I mean, John carried a stuffed teddy bear all the way from Seattle on an airplane in, in public. John did that. It was like, um, like the baby changed him, you know? And then sometimes I would catch him smiling. John was smiling, you know, and... I guess I just didn't want to ruin it. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if uh, John would forgive me, but it, it, uh, it doesn't matter because Liam is Brody's and John's not interested. And is John's apparent lack of interest really reason enough for you to marry Brody? What are you saying? Oh, honey, it is so obvious that you still love John. And yes, I know you have feelings for Brody, but I never see that, that love between you. I mean, there can't be. No, no, of course not. My question, honey, is would you be marrying Brody if he were not Liam's father? What are you doing here? You don't live here anymore. Yes, this isn't personal. I'm here on police business. Are you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. You just uh, surprised me. You all alone here? Well, my dad's here and the kids. Why? I'd like your permission to search the house. What for? Do you have a warrant? I can get a warrant, but that would take time. Well, why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? Your uncle. Todd escaped from jail. Mom, I appreciate that you're looking out for me, but like I told Rex, that dream, it was, it was nothing. What dream? Forget it. It was nothing. <laughs> if you felt the need to discuss it with your brother, it's obviously not nothing. Ma, no, it's, you're just going to read way too much into it. Oh, I see. And did Rex? It doesn't matter what Rex thought, because like I said, it's not real. Honey, it could very well be your subconscious trying to tell you something. Yeah. Keep my mouth shut. All right. Okay, so... Uh... Last night or this morning, whenever, I was having this dream, you know? It was like one of those dreams, like it was really happening, you know, like, a, like it was real. Yeah. So, anyway, in the dream, I, I'm, I'm asleep, and then I wake up, but I didn't really wake up. It was part of the dream. Anyway, I wake up, I see Brody, he's sleeping, so I get up, I'm going to go make some coffee. So I go over to the table, and then there's a pile of mail sitting on the table, which was kind of weird because it was morning and we don't get mail till the afternoon anyway i digress somehow i knew that whatever was in that mail that, that there was something important so i'm going through it i grab an envelope and it's from the, the hospital land you hospital yeah so i i opened it and uh it was it was liam's dna test except uh, this time, John was Liam's father, not Brody. No 
wonder all these questions upset you so. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter. It's just a dream. So you think that um, Todd broke out of jail and just came here? He's been staying here. So this is the last place that he'd be. I've got to rule it out. Yeah, I suppose you do. Are you giving me permission to search the premises? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Well, it looks official. So did the one Venmo changed. What was it doing in Tina's dog here? So, did you find my uncle? Did a quick sweep of the house, no sign of him. Well, as much as I love Uncle Todd, I am glad that he's nowhere near Ryder right now. Took a look in the nursery. He's sound asleep. Yeah, he's been sleeping really well. He's growing so much, and as soon as he started feeding himself, it was all over. Yeah, he's a lot bigger. And his hair's starting to curl. He's a good boy. I should get going. Thanks for your cooperation. Bernie, wait. I was just kind of hoping that I wasn't going to have to say anything. I, you were trying to protect everyone. You know, and I know, I know that I should have, I should have uh, told Brody. Mm. The second I found out the results, you know, I, like I, I saw him. He was the first person I saw. But he was so excited about Ryder and Jessica, and I just well, I didn't have the heart to tell him. It would have been difficult no matter when you talked about it. I have found that it's better to air things like that sooner rather than later because hiding the truth just eats you up inside and often hurts the very people that you are trying to protect. You telling me? Oh, my poor baby. I know how hard this has been for you. You haven't had a peaceful moment since the wedding. It's not totally true. Every time I look at my son, it's a good time. Of course. Your relationship with your sister? I know, it's a mess. And I don't, I don't know if there's any way to fix it. I mean, she... She's so furious with both of us, and she hates seeing us together. I just don't... I don't know if she's ever going to forgive us. You know that I love you, right? I don't know. Good. And maybe marrying Brody is the answer, but... Does he make you happy? What's up? We need to talk. Look, Jessica, I know this is hard for you. Natalie and me getting engaged, and I want to talk about it, I do. But not right now. There's a fugitive on the loose. I know. This won't take long. Look, you want to kick the crap out of me later? I'm your man. But my point is, I understand how things can get between sisters, but Natalie's all banged up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're both mad. I get it. But she's trying to make the best of it, and you should do the same. You're not a kid anymore, Jess. You gotta grow up. It's time to move on. See you later. John had his chance, and he... he wasn't able to, to be a father to Liam, and... And right now, my son is the, it's the most important thing to me. Well, that's as it should be. And, and yes, he needs his father. And I know, I understand you don't want to do this alone. Oh, Mom, you know, there have been times this, uh, this past year, I just, I wanted to give up. You know, everything that happened with Tess and then everything with Dad, and I think I was just, I was really overwhelmed. And I'd, I'd look over at my, at my son, and I just, I'd see how much he needed me. I want to do what's best for him. Well, you and Brody have Liam in common, yes. No, Mom, that's not the only thing. You know, I wouldn't marry him just, just because of that. The romantic in me wants more for you. I will always love John. 
can't change that. And I will always remember how much that meant to me. But, um, that's just a memory, you know? That, that's all it is now. And what Brody and I have, it's real. That's what I, I've got to start doing. I've got to start focusing on what's real. Yeah, you do. I guess we all do. Maybe the best way to heal this family is for all of us simply to accept what has happened. Or not. I mean, you know, Brody and I are going to do what we're going to do, and I don't want to force anybody to feel something that they don't. I'm going to go and talk to Jessica again. And I will try to get her to understand that resenting the situation just doesn't help. Okay. Hey, um... Mom, can... Can you just... tell Jessica that I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. You know, I... I really shouldn't have made that crack about Dad not being her real dad and getting all of her crazy from Mitch. Well, she got a very big dose of it from me. Anyway, I had no business going at her like that. And I'm sure that she regrets what she said as well. Honey, I know that deep down you two love each other. Okay? And I love you. Me too. Get some rest. Feel better. Start. Your sister's very sorry about what happened, and she feels terrible about it. Good. Darling, I understand how angry you are, okay? And how difficult it is to bridge this gap. Let me just tell you a little something, okay? After my brother, Victor, died, I, I realized that I never had the opportunity to tell him or to prove to him that I still loved him, that he was my brother as well. I lost my chance, and that's something I'm going to have to live with forever. I think that's why I'm trying so hard to mend fences with Tina. I mean, by rights, I should banish her forever, but really, what would that do? You know, one of us dies, it's never resolved, the whole family is fractured. Mom, I think I understand, darling. I know how hard it is to forgive, okay? I just want you to imagine if you lost the chance. I'll think about it. Now, I'm gonna go and see my grandson. Because hmm? that always makes me feel better. Where did she go? You know what? Mom's right. It's better for everyone just to accept what's real. John will never be Liam's father. 